Hey guys, what is going on? Rodrigo here with the Noobs, and today I've got a quick guide on one of the new side easter eggs that has recently been added to Mao with the Totem, and that is the manhole cover easter egg. So let's take a look at how you do it and if it's worth it. So this easter egg is not to the same level of the main easter eggs we've seen in COD Zombies before, it's very much a minor side easter egg. Basically, what you need to do is find a manhole cover in East Berlin Street and it should be one that is missing the actual manhole cover and you'll find it just behind the green truck as you can see here. What you need to do is throw grenades into the open manhole cover and these can be any combination of Semtex, frag grenades and also flashbangs. When you throw a grenade into the hole, you'll know the easter egg is progressing if you hear a zombie scream something like this. If you don't hear it then the easter egg isn't progressing. When completing this side easter egg I found that it didn't seem to work before A having turned on the power or B before round 10. I think in reality it probably will work prior to round 10 but you do need the power on as far as I could tell. When you throw enough grenades into the manhole, it will spit out a bunch of loot for you. The loot can be pretty random, but you can get things like miniguns and other score streaks. The one item that is consistent every time is the LG53 Casimir. This does actually cost 2000 crafting points to build, so from this aspect, it is worth doing this side easter egg if you use the Casimir. From my experience of completing this side easter egg, I could get the drain to fire out rewards three times throughout the match. Is this side easter egg worth doing though? Obviously zombies do drop grenades, including Semtex, flashbangs and frag grenades as well, but ideally you want to be using them on the zombies and not throwing them down a hole. In addition, this easter egg isn't as easy as just throwing one or two grenades down. In certain instances, for me, I had to throw a combination of about 8 or 9 grenades down before being rewarded. This is kind of annoying because not only is it time consuming, but 8 or more grenades are not that easy to come by. And you will need to craft the grenades yourself at the crafting table to have enough. You may just be better off paying to craft the LG53 Casimir if you want it that badly. All in all, it's a fun little side easter egg to try out. But unlike with the bunny nightclub easter egg and the Cerberus within the safe, which are both very useful easter eggs on Mao the Toten, I'm not sure I'll be running this one all that often. As I say, it's quite time consuming and the rewards aren't really that great. But what do you think of this side egg? Let me know in the comments if you've used it and if it helps you throughout your matches in Mao the Toten. Take care guys and I'll catch you in the next one.